It started as a school science fair project, but a Florida teen's experiment turned into a real breakthrough, surprising even the most seasoned researchers. Vicente Arenas meets the science prodigy whose work is already leading to change. Beneath the murky waters of South Florida's Loxahatchee River, Lauren Arrington saw something extremely unusual. Why are they so dangerous? They just keep eating. They don't stop. The sixth grader was fishing when she saw saltwater lionfish in fresh water. She found the fish fascinating and frightening. I wanted to see how, how dangerous a lionfish could be to us. Because they could eat all the little fish? Right, and so people knew that they could eat all the little fish in the ocean. But then I was like, well, what about the rivers? Lionfish are venomous predators known to kill other species and threaten coral reefs. Lauren made them the focus of a school science fair project. For more than two weeks, she counted each breath the fish took, measured their stress levels and food intake, all the while lowering the salt content in the aquarium. Every night when we lowered it to five parts per thousand, I was like, oh, they're still alive. They're still alive. <laughs> they're, they're not floating at the top of the tank. <laughs> they survived no they matter what. They survived. Which she would sit and meticulously count. Lauren's father, Aubrey, a marine biologist, was equally surprised. So no one really knew lionfish were a threat in rivers like this one? They didn't. We certainly did not understand that. Lauren's research showed they are. Lauren's work was enough for a third place finish. But shortly after, PhD level scientists started replicating Lauren's original experiment, each time with a similar result. She's now credited for making the scientific breakthrough. She just did, like so many scientists, she did her little piece of the pie, and then another scientist comes and builds on that foundation of knowledge. Florida wildlife officials say Lauren's discovery has changed the way they deal with the fish. On August 1st, a statewide ban on the import of lionfish will go into effect. Now we're looking for them in places where scientists were not looking for them previously. We know that they can tolerate lower salinities than we previously thought. For Lauren, who one day wants to follow in her father's footsteps as a scientist, all the attention only proved what she already knew. Real scientists took your data and used it in their studies. What did you think when you heard that? So one, they copied it, and two, they proved I was right. And so it's pretty cool. For CBS This Morning, Vicente Arenas, Jupiter, Florida. Isn't that a great story? Love that she has braces and she's being credited with a scientific breakthrough. You go, Lauren. Absolutely. Women in science.